funny. You are too. And thank you. <laughs> we were having like a little I know, a little the camera. Right? I was like, oh my God, look at your face. Oh my God. And <laughs> girl, thank you. you're so beautiful. You know, um, I was I was thinking about how. No. Hmm. Ah, that's interesting. That's no. interesting. Why I'm, is that? Because I was born somebody. I've been somebody since the moment I took my first breath. Mm. And I was raised knowing that, embracing that, and defending that until death. So it is very complimenting. Mm. It definitely makes my day sometimes, yeah. but it, it doesn't define me. Right. Absolutely. I define myself. Yourself. Yes. Wonderful, it's wonderful. In, it's very important. Yes. And to work with what you have, if I sit down and I and I were to break down all the things that I feel I could be better in, right. <laughs> um, I am going to get, you know, I'm going to be pinpoint something that you don't like about yourself. Right. But if you focus on the things that really do work or you try to find beauty, it, it, uh, I don't know, and I guess make peace with what you have and make the best of it, you really learn to enjoy yourself and to feel very, very beautiful and you stop looking to your left and to your right and stop comparing yourself, you begin to be, you start being a much happier person, especially for women. I feel like it's very important. You know, we live in a society where we're still uh, inspired and encouraged to compete against each other when in reality if all women stood together we would be a force to really be reckoned with and we would intimidate a lot of species on this earth so Absolutely. it's about not expecting someone to give us a power that we were we already own it's just about us realizing that we have it in us and we just need to unite and love each other and love us all together you know I think it's very important they can't communicate right yeah. yes so okay so if Zoe Saldana had to give Ahura advice on relationships what would you tell her oh my god <laughs> no um I I think I would be asking her for advice you know Ooh. she's she's obviously in, in a, living in a different time yeah. um, that I, I'm, I would expect that things would be a little more evolved, mm -hmm. would continue to be a little more evolved. And, um, and she feels to me like a person that feels very accepting of her vulnerability when it comes to the fact that she's weak to the knees with, with Spock. And she just wants him to be happy. I don't, I don't think, I don't, I didn't, I never felt that her arguing with him or being bothered by him was for her own sake as much as it was for his. She sees how much he struggles and how much in pain he is by neglecting his human side and by only being a person of rationale and not being a person of instinct. It's, it's, it's affecting him not only as a human, as an individual, but as a leader. So um, that was one thing, that was a, a, a very interesting proposition of conflict that JJ uh, uh, sort of put there on the plate for Zach and I, for both of our characters, and also for Chris's character, because uh, Captain, Pi uh, Captain Kirk and Spock have the same kind of conflict that Uhura is having with Spock, you know? And it's just, dude, chill <laughs> feel <laughs> don't think so much just feel you know <laughs> is that what she would tell you i think so yes? <laughs>